Welcome to Paranella Park. This is basically, long story short, Joseph Paranella moved to Australia in 1920 to, and his dream was to build his wife a castle. So he found this five hectare block of land on the Mena Creek River. He used the waterfall to make hydroelectricity. Bear in mind, this was only early 1920s and he was the only one in the area to have power. So this structure here is the first castle that he built, look, overlooking the waterfall. This one here was actually the ballroom with, um, yeah, they had dances and dinners. They actually had a fair bit of trouble, but they had a, he had quite a massive flood that wrecked the place and two fires. He even, he only lasted another 10 years and a lot of his family had died along the way too. So personally, I think the place is a little bit cursed, but yeah, what a magic place. And you can come do half an hour tours now with people that tell you a lot more history than what I'm saying now. We even stayed and did the night tour, which which was had all the flashing lights and yeah, very interesting place. I would recommend. Mom, I'm going at the other side of the tunnel. Okay, we've backtracked. We've decided to come back up north and come to the can show for the day. Probably buy some kids some junk that will break before we get it home tonight. One more. Isabel's pig's racing and it's coloured blue. So you're going to see if it wins. Oh, no, no. What did you call your, your pig? Rosie. 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 The blue one's at the back. Oh, I know you're terrible at cheering, but are you ready? Yeah. Here we go! Nobody! Now this young fellow's name is Sam, he's also known as the Travelling Jackaroo on Facebook. He's been travelling Australia in this old tractor with all sorts of crap hanging off it for two years, raising funds for Dolly's Dream and the Royal Flying Doctors. I had a brief chat with him and gave him a bit of money. He's doing a good job. Now these guys in the marshalling area, they're all ready to rock and roll. Can't you with us this time? Come on, don't go to sleep on us guys. Here we go, we've got to count them in. C come on, cans, here we go from five, four, three, two, one, let's go duck racing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lee's run these tail feathers off this port of luck. There's two got lost. Now these we're ones. just walking along the beach at Etty Bay and we found someone's made a turtle sandcastle. Well, not really a sandcastle, it's a sand turtle. That's pretty cool. Another day, another playground.
chewing on a sugar cane. <laughs> what are we chewing on here? Sugar. Always have a sugar party. Today we've come to Mission Beach and the last time I was here I was one of these guys jumping out of an airplane jumping out of an airplane When I'm older I'm doing that Are you? Yep Been a while since we've seen a big thing. This is a big gum boot and tully. It's 7.9 meters high, which represents that in 1950 they had 7.9 meters of rainfall. It's a pretty wet joint. Just across the road here, we've got the sugar sugar factory pumping the smoke out. So you can climb up to the top and inside they've got a few photos of what it looked like when it rained that much that year. Someone trying to make a phone call. The roadhouse underwater. Let's get up to the top. Hey, there's a better view of town. Well, Bustle and thought it had the longest jetty around. Look at this one here. It's 5.7 kilometers long. We're in Lucinda near Ingham. And we presume it's used to transport cane. It must be used, yeah, to some sugar sort of um, transportation of the sugar cane. So this is apparently the original pub with no beer, made famous by the Slim Dusty song. It was written about a guy in the early 50s come to have a drink and the American soldiers had drunk the pub dry so he had to have a wine and it's closed today so it really does have no beer. Now we've just come down to the local wetlands here in Ingham behind the information centre which the lady said we would probably spot quite a few turtles. Got a lot of turtles here. But still can't die. Who's winning? Where's Joel's mouse? Oh, here it comes. This one's called Wallerman Falls and it's the highest single drop waterfall in Australia. It drops 270 metres. And yeah, I don't know if you can see, it's got a permanent rainbow down the bottom. These little cutie pies look like they've just been born. Pretty cute.
Okay, now we've come into Townsville and we're at the top of the Castle Hill lookout, looking out over the city. It's quite a big city, it's probably one of the biggest in Queensland. Just over there in the distance is Magnetic Island, which we're debating whether we go and catch a ferry and go have a look. Well, we're pretty high up. People actually run up here, it gets the heart rate going. <laughs> we're having a tantrum up the top of Castle Hill. Here's the other side of the city. Where we're staying here in Townsville is right next door to the Army Air Force and we've got all these cool helicopters and jet planes flying over us. It's pretty cool you go outside and you think you're in some sort of war zone. This is what you call living on the edge. Shoot the cannon! We're just going to have a bit of a walk along the strand. It's very windy and we're going to have a look at a bit of the artwork. Okay, I found the best one. It looks like my room when I was a teenager. Yeah, thanks for watching our journey from Paranoia Park down through to Townsville. We've still got this crazy weather following us. Join us on our next episode as we head down to Bowen, Lake Proserpine and Ely Beach. Don't forget to like and subscribe.